Hey, this is Math 8, Unit 4, Lesson 13 continued. Just finishing up a few problems that yeah, cut off on our master video. So here we go, looking at numbers 3, 4, and 5 from tonight's homework. Number 3 says solve the system of equations. And so we have two equations here. To solve them, what we want to do is set them equal to each other. So we'll do 4x minus 3 equals negative 2x plus 9. And we're going to solve for x. That will give us one of our points for our solution. We want to find an x and a y um, number here. So I'm going to go ahead and add 2x to both sides there to give me a 6x. Okay, and that goes away. I'm going to add a 3 there and add a 3 there. So 9 plus 3 is going to be 12. So 6x equals 12. I'm going to divide both sides by 6 so that x equals 12 divided by 6, which is going to be 2. So we have one point for our solution, which is x equals 2. And we'll use that and plug it into either one of these equations. I'm going to go ahead and do the first one. y equals 4 times 2, because that's the value of x, minus 3. And this is to tell us what y is equal to. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 3. And 8 minus 3 is 5. So y equals 5. And so our solution for the system of equations would be 2 comma 5 meaning that if I had a graph, the place where those would meet would be at 2 comma 5, and the two lines would cross there at that point. <laughs> okay, that's the idea. Terrible graph. Next one. We're gonna set those equal to each other. So we're gonna do 5 fourths x minus 2 equals negative 1 fourth x plus 19. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add 1 fourth to this both sides add 1 fourth x, okay, that goes away. So 5 fourths plus 1 fourth is 6 fourths x. We'll add 2 to both sides here. Those go away, 19 plus 2 equals 21. All right, we can reduce this if we wanted to first of all. Instead of 6 fourths, we could call this what? 6 fourths can be returned into 3 over 2. Well, let's not use our space for the next problem there. This can become 3 over 2 x. Okay, so we reduce that there. To get the x by itself, we multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 thirds. And we can reduce 3 goes into 21 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14, so x equals 14. That's our first number. Now we can take that and we can plug it into one of these equations here. It doesn't matter which one you want to use, either one works just fine. I'm going to use the negative 1. Why? Because I like the negative 1 having a small number. So y equals negative 1 fourth times 14 plus 19. All right, so I get 14 over 4, uh, which is a little silly. So I can reduce that into 7 over 2. So I have negative 7 halves plus 19. All right, negative 7 over 2, not really a number I work with too often. But negative 7 halves, uh, if I want to change this into a a mixed number. 2 goes into 7 3 times, right? And we have negative 3 and a half, or 3.5. So now if I do 19 minus 3 and a half, I end up with 15 and a half, or 15.5 for y. So my solution would be 14 comma 15 and a half for that problem right there. And finally our last one, number 5. It says to solve this equation here, first using the distributive property and then without it. So here we go. Let's write it out there. We have 15 times x minus 3 equals over 5 equals 3 times 2x minus 3. So to distribute first, we would do 15 times x, which is be rewritten as, I'll write it right here, 15x. And then 15 minus 3, multiply those together. 15 times minus 3 is a negative 45. And that's all over 5. We distribute here. 3 times 2 is 6x. And then 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. So now we've done the distribu distribution there for all of that. And we can now reduce. So I have to reduce both parts here, don't forget. So I can reduce 5 and 15 becomes 3x. 5 goes into 15 3 times. And then 5 goes into to 45 9 times. Keep the minus sign. So you have a 9 right there. That's my reducing and reducing. Use that denominator for both pieces. That's going to equal 6x plus 9, and now we're back to regular solving. So I'm going to subtract 3x, subtract 3x, so I can keep my variable positive. 
that becomes 3x there. I'll subtract 9, subtract 9, so I have negative 18 here. Divide both sides by 3. And in this case here, negative 18 divided by 3 is a negative 6, which is the answer for uh, what I got there. Something looks a little bit off. Looking at my notes here real quick. What did I do? 3x, 9, 3x minus 9. 3x minus 9 equals 6x minus 9. And then we got rid of the 3x. 6x. Hmm. Oh, that's what happened here. Oh, I'm so sorry. 3 times negative 3, back it up here, is a minus 9. So sorry, good thing I'm checking my work. So if you're just skipping ahead there, be careful. I'm going to erase a lot of things here. <laughs> so sorry, let's fix this here. 3 times negative 3 is n negative 9. So now I need to add 9 to both sides. And so when I add 9 over here, and I add 9 here, this becomes 0. Okay, so 3x equals 0, which tells me then that x equals 0. Oops, sorry about that. Be careful. <laughs> All right, and the next one, let's see what happens here without distributing. We have 15 times x minus 3 over 5 equals 3 times 2x minus 3. So if we did not distribute, what would we do? Um, we could reduce that first of all, becomes 5 and a 3. So now I have 3 times x minus 3 equals 3 times 2x minus 3. I could divide both sides by 3, so that goes away. So now x minus 3 equals 2x minus 3. Okay, I can add 3 there, add 3 there, so that goes away. And we're left with x equals 2x, which it really doesn't equal 2x, does it now? And so the only way that's going to work is for x to equal 0. It's the only way that's going to work there. Okay, so now we got to check it out to see if it actually does work. That's our check our solution part here. So let's plug it in. 15 times 0 minus 3 over 5 equals... 3 times 2 times 0 uh, minus 3. Let's see if this works. So this is 15, well I can still reduce here. That becomes 3. So now 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9. And then this is 2 minus 3. So this is becomes 3 times 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Is that right? Oh, this is, sorry, 0. <laughs> a negative 3, which is still going to be 3 times negative 3, which is still equal to negative 9. So indeed, those equal each other, so it works out just fine. Alright, that's it for today. Have a great day, and we will see you next time.